Hey everyone, Varun Mahocha here. Today I'm doing another breakdown of, um, I'm going to be doing Gustavo Batista vs. Max Lindblad at the 2019 King of Mats. Um, so, as I normally do, uh, we're going to do a little preview of the match and see what these athletes, uh, like, what these athletes like to do and what their game is like. Um, so starting off with Gustavo Batista, I've already covered him before, but anyways, he's a really well-rounded fighter, um, but he does prefer to be on top. His, uh, his whole passing like system, I guess you could say, is basically, is basically just getting to a knee side position and working from there. Um, however, we actually see a little bit of diversity from him in this match, and that's uh, exactly why I chose it. Max Lindblad is also pretty well-rounded uh, well as well. He's pretty similar to Tommy Langacker in terms that he likes to use the upper body guards and upper body attacks to set up the X-guards. Um, for the start of the match... Uh, Max generally pulls in his matches in, with both lighter and heavier guys, but if it's a lighter guy, he'll come up for the, from the double pull, but he's going to be able to get a clean pull on Gustavo in this match. So they grip up, and Gustavo basically just starts running at him, and in response, Max pulls guard because he basically doesn't want to fall over and give Gustavo the two points or an advantage. Max has a pretty good pull, but Gustavo does an excellent job of connecting his elbow to his knee, and he's in a position where he has two options, one being the same side knee slide. But Gustavo is going to attack the regular knee slide to the other side, as that's the side he likes passing to. Uh, once he stuffs Max's left leg, he'll be able to attack the position. As soon as Gustavo stepped over the foot, Max does the right thing and immediately attempts to hook Gustavo's butt with his left foot, but Gustavo's leg positioning doesn't allow it as he kind of has his knees pinched together. I think in that spot it would have been better for him to try to get his left foot to the outside. We see Max throw his foot onto the shoulder and that leaves him open to the throw by that Gustavo does. What he could have done to prevent that is by gra uh, getting a same side collar grip. This is a better option compared to grabbing the sleeve for the lasso because that's the entry for Gustavo's favourite knee slide. Once Gustavo goes to the other side for a knee on belly, Max is pretty on point and is able to get a spider with his left leg. That means he now has a frame to stop Gustavo from getting chest to chest with him. Notice how Max is simultaneously also using the spider to spin under for a 50-50 style back take. To prevent the back take, Gustavo makes a super high level transition as he starts attacking the toehold. What this allows him to do is to get Max's knee out of what I like to call the pocket, which is basically Max's knee behind Gustavo's knee. There is also the added benefit of getting the advantage off the toehold. The toehold forces Max to roll into all fours, kind of stacking himself. Gustavo takes advantage of the opportunity to attack a leg drag. Max over here makes another mistake as he throws his legs out of a good position as he overshoots his inversion and ends up on his side, uh, which actually gives Gustavo a stronger position to finish the pass. Max in that position was forced to turtle so he wouldn't give the points. Gustavo actually does something that was really sick over here, and he kind of does a re-bolo from the top. Notice how before he attempted this movement how he got traditional Berenbolo positioning beforehand. On the first re-bolo, Max actually pushes Gustavo's left knee down so his hip doesn't get trapped, as you need both hips on the inside of your knees to finish the back take. On the second roll, Gustavo is able to follow up and get the knee to the outside and throw the hook in. Hey everyone, that's it for the breakdown. Um, both of these guys are really, really good to watch. I both love their styles. Gustavo Batisi is an amazing passer. Max Lindblad does some really cool stuff when he's passing as well and also his guard game. Um, uh, I recommend that you support these guys. Uh, I'm going to be putting their Instagram down below. Uh, you can also follow me if you like. I don't really do much on there. I just talk a lot of shit, but you know, if you want to, you want to. Um, also, during this quarantine time, I'm offering online privates. So basically, the idea of this is that m when you go to jiu-jitsu, you want to come back better than you were before. So what I'm, what I'm basically doing is I'm helping you with that. So I'm going to be giving you ideas of techniques and positions and a few concepts that I like to use. And um, basically, we can help you get better, uh, even though you haven't actually been training in the gym every single day like most guys do. And um, that's something that's really valuable, okay? And you don't want to be, you want to take two steps back, but rather two steps forward in this time. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, subscribe, follow me on whatever, like it. I don't really mind if you uh, support the channel. Um, 
uh, comment down below what you think and uh, tell me what you want to see next. If there's any particular matches or particular uh, particular positions you would like me to analyze. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Let it be all chill.